Adana, the River Goddess, Episode 2 As the anticipation hung thick in the air of Okukwe and the surrounding villages, all eyes were fixed on Amadi, waiting with bated breath to know whom he would bestow his daughter's hand in marriage upon. However, amidst the pulsating tension of this moment, fate intervened in the form of a tragic accident. Adana, the daughter in question, found love. It was an ordinary day by the Omo River, where the routine of life unfolded with a familiar rhythm. Adana, engaged in the simple task of washing cassava for her mother, found her world intersecting with destiny. As the sun cast its golden hues across the tranquil waters, a figure emerged. A young man named Ikedi Ikedi's presence sparked a flurry of whispers among the youths washing their clothes by the riverbank. He was of humble means, his appearance weathered by the trials of life. Orphaned at a tender age, he bore the weight of responsibility for his aged grandmother. Yet despite the hardships that etched his face, there was a quiet strength about him, a resilience born of necessity. However, the tranquility of the moment was shattered by the cruel taunts of some of the young men, mocking Ikedi's poverty and his perennial absence from the annual wrestling festival. Their words, like barbed arrows, pierced the air, eliciting a visceral response from Adana. With a fierceness that belied her delicate frame, Adana rose to defend Ikedi, her words cutting through the cacophony like a clarion call. In her impassioned defense, she pledged that Ikidi would not only participate in the wrestling festival, but emerge victorious, breaking the bones of his detractors in the process. Her proclamation sent shockwaves through the gathering, leaving the taunting youths cowering in fear. Yet amidst the turmoil, Ikidi remained silent, his gaze fixed upon Adana with a mixture of gratitude and disbelief. As they walked home together, Adana's gesture of solidarity extended beyond mere words. Taking Ikdi's hand in hers, she signaled her intent to stand by his side, defying the conventions that sought to keep them apart. In that fleeting moment, a bond was forged, a connection that transcended the boundaries of class and circumstance. However, beneath the surface of Adana's bold declaration lay a deeper truth, a truth that would unravel in the days to come. For Adana was no ordinary maiden. She bore within her the blood of the gods, a lineage that carried both privilege and peril. That night, as the world slumbered in the embrace of darkness, Adana ventured into the realm of the river spirits, her heart heavy with a secret burden. In the presence of the Divine Council, she pleaded for permission to love a mortal man, a plea that carried with it the weight of forbidden desires. The gods, in their infinite wisdom, granted her request, yet with a solemn caveat. She could love but never marry, lest she incur the wrath of cosmic consequences. And so, armed with their blessing, Adana returned to the mortal realm, her resolve strengthened by the knowledge that her love was sanctioned by divine decree. With the dawn of a new day, Adana's joy knew no bounds as she shared her newfound love with her astonished parents. Though met with skepticism at first, their faith in their daughter's foresight ultimately prevailed, and they embraced Ikidi as one of their own. As evening descended upon the village square, a palpable sense of anticipation gripped the air. The annual wrestling festival, steeped in tradition and rivalry, had drawn crowds from far and wide, eager to witness the spectacle of strength and skill. Amidst the throngs of spectators, Ikedi stood resolute, clad in attire befitting a champion, with Adana by his side, a beacon of unwavering support. His presence, once a source of ridicule, now commanded attention, as whispers of his impending triumph rippled through the crowd. With the commencement of the matches, Ikedi stepped into the arena, his gaze steady, his determination unwavering. Against all odds, he dispatched his opponents with a strength and ferocity that defied explanation, each victory fueling the fervors of the crowd. Yet it was not merely physical prowess that propelled Ikedi to victory, but a force far greater, an unseen energy that pulsed through him, imbuing each movement with otherworldly power. And at the heart of it all stood Adana, her presence a catalyst for transformation, her love a source of boundless strength. As the night wore on, Ikedi's legend grew, his name echoing through the annals of history as the wrestler who shattered convention and defied fate. 
And amidst the jubilation and revelry, Adana watched with a mixture of pride and trepidation, for she knew that with each victory, they drew closer to a reckoning foretold by the gods. For Adana, the path ahead was fraught with uncertainty, a delicate balance between love and duty, desire and destiny. Yet, as she stood by Ikadi's side, her heart brimming with affection, she dared to believe that their love was a force capable of transcending even the most formidable obstacles. And so, as the fires of the wrestling festival burned bright into the night, casting their flickering glow upon the faces of the jubilant crowd, Adana and Ikadi stood together, united in their defiance of fate, bound by a love that knew no bounds. And in that fleeting moment, amidst the chaos and clamor of the world, they found solace in each other's arms, knowing that together they would face whatever trials lay ahead, guided by the timeless promise of love everlasting. Watch out for episode 3. Thank you for watching, and we hope you have learned something from our stories. Please write in the comment box, and also, please subscribe to our channel for more captivating and educative folktale stories. See you in the next story.